And good afternoon to you. My name is Leadon. Welcome to my channel. Today I got a game for you. I'm playing a Sarok. Random bonus. This should be good. Um, I repicked from no. Uh, we're not even a minute into the game and I already feel like I'm going to die. Uh, purple we do know is playing with Anubarak. We have no idea what blue is playing with or what Scarlet is playing with. So, we're gonna find out. Um, yes, but the problem is, for example, level 28 Korgal beats pretty much every single special unit in the entire game by himself. I agree with you there. Also, Worgen kind of need to be reworked because any mechan- Oh god, I hate this bonus on Sarok. I'm not good with it. Um... Yeah, like I said, he pretty much beats every single special unit in the game, but one. Like, in fact, I think he beats all, without hero items, I still think he beats every single special unit replacement, too. I hate, I, I cannot stand camo. I always lose when I get it. Alright, um, no one's upgraded against me, but gold mine. Sorry, dude. The Great Indian is awakening. Uh, a Scarlet Crusade is going to be a scary person. And there is a Night Elf in the game. Awesome. <laughs> uh, we might do that. We'll see. Um, nope, he is also weak versus big bad wolf, and probably he will lose versus... Uh, no. I actually did see that matchup. Hellevator wins, or Korgal stomps Hellevator. Like, just straight up stomps him. Oh my word. Night Elf with three attack. Yike. Um... I don't think so. I think Kazak just straight up loses to Korg. I could be mistaken, but I do know Hellevator loses to Korg in a very spectacular and meaningful way. Hi, Undead. I'm sorry, Undead. Sorry, not sorry, Undead. Oh, you're playing with Fanatics. Okay. Good for you. Okay, at least he didn't upgrade tier 2 middle. I'm going to save for magic and then go T2 middle, I think. That's true. That is true. I kind of feel bad for the undead right now. I didn't mean to bully this hard. I'm not trying to bully, I promise. Um, Adele, I forgot about Adele. Really, dude? Like, there's a gold mine. Like, what do you want from me? Anyway, um... I don't know. Sometimes I feel like special unit is not balanced. Like, for example, it never feels good to summon uh, the fried chicken <laughs> into another special unit in my mind. But that's just me. Like, he's just anti-military. Or anti-army, if you will. Kinda sucks he left. More gold 
All right. Yes, strong. Uh, Blood Elf is probably the strongest race in the game, in my opinion, just because of T4 magic. Although Nightborn is strong too. Like, Nightborn is one of those races that personally I do not like to allow to live longer than 20 minutes in the game, because if they live longer than that, you pretty much just lose. Oh god, Scarlet Crusade has got so much attack. I need to start getting some attack upgrades going myself. Um, imagine Weak Gnome steal that great BF. Oh, uh, I've had it happen. You know, it's not my first rodeo playing against uh, the Gnome. Although I can't stand playing with Gnome. I hate Gnome. <laughs> a VC. Oh no. But you know, it's a true metaphor. It always you know, it always gets people like, wait, weren't you at the other side of the map? Wait. You were here and your units are on top of my barracks. No. It's so true. That is a death ball and a half middle right now. Unfortunate. All right, I think I'm gonna save and go T2 here. Try and get a Nimnok middle. Yeah, but Gnome, like you're basically forced to go with either Grenaders or what's the other bonus? Otherwise you just lose because race pressure. It's like everyone sees Gnome. Oh, no. Charge. I mean, it's the correct thing to do, but, like, you kind of feel bad for him. 3-2. Alright. I'm happy with this kind of stalemate here. Against perp. I'm already going to be targeted. I promise you. Because I put YouTube. My name at YouTube. So I'm going to get targeted no matter what this game. That is true. That is very true, Pexus. Like, I don't know, it's just, um... Alright, um... I'm gonna try and put a Nemi middle. Just to farm, because everyone is T2, so... Risky play, but hopefully it'll pay off. And then we'll go for T2 magic. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's... Well, everyone is T2 here, so... This is probably a bad idea, sending Nimnok, but... I hope not. I hope we'll be able to kind of contest red. Okay, he's got a wave here. That was cringe. I waited too long on sending Nimnok. I'm so sad now. Alright, well. Oh, well. That was a waste of a thousand gold. Feels good, man. Uh, let's go with that. Feels good to waste a thousand gold. More gold is required. More gold is required. 
Nothing quite like it. We should see a T2 spell here soon. I can hear his tower shooting up here. Yep, there was a shot. I thought he was going to T2, but... Oh well. Oh god. Oh, let's get T2 magic. He just got an infusion of gold, so... Did this guy leave? No, he's still here. I have no idea what Blue's plan is, but I'll take it. Gonna need a T1 spell on units. God, it feels so good to lose Nimnok there. Like, it's just what I needed. Oh, man. And he T3'd me. Get rid of that flying little prick. Have a Nemnok. I'm playing this game like dog crap right now. Six attack, Night Elf. Zero armor. Mad respect, bro. Go for it. I serve only the frozen throne. That's an interesting choice for defense. There's a lovely T3. Red is 6-2. Okay. Calm down, boys, with the attack upgrades. Anyway. um, Oh, Lord. Red just keeps on pushing perp. Yep. Yep. He probably got a thousand gold off his push, quite frankly. Oh, damn. I didn't mean to get killing spree. I meant to get dodge. Oh, well. Blue lost his upper barracks. Yikers. Alright, we need to make some ma moves. Um. Red's gonna be too powerful at this rate. I think I am gonna have to go for T3 versus T3 here. Although this might be able to hold for a while, if we can catch him middle, it should reset the game, and he should be gold star for a little while. But that's a big if. Because that gold mine is paying dividends for me, but uh, red is probably ahead in total gold just because of the building kills. Yeah, red's way ahead. Red is way up. Red is T4 versus me. Lord. More gold is required. Like, come on, dude. More gold is required. 
You should be going for middle control, not T4 and me. But okay, we'll save for T4 versus him. Yeah, that could be too. But, I mean, six attack. Well, I wanted to protect him for as long as possible. Alright, Red finally met someone middle. Thank God. Oh yeah, he, he controlled the crap out of middle. But now that we're meeting, uh, Red shouldn't just get a free... You know. Plus, I think he is T4, because I did see the Ballista Bolt remains. Thirty seconds until I can repair. I'm gonna go T3 bottom against my better judgment. Yeah, he is T4 versus me with low unit upgrades. So with that hero, if I keep upgrading my units, I might stand a chance of staying complete control of this lane for a while. Do I have poison level one at least? I don't believe I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Right, we've also got to defend this, I forgot. <sighs> We're going to need a lot of units here, because we have zero fortifications. And this mad lad went with uh, six attack. Alright, good enough. And he T4'd me and upgraded. Lovely. Okay, this guy is going to come in like a wrecking ball. I wonder if Red is rushing towards Ember. I'm really wondering that, because I'm behind on fortification upgrades, and that could be really, really dangerous. This is also really dangerous. It's only a matter of time until uh, purple's gone. We did get quite a bit of value out of the gold mine, so I'm not complaining about that. Am I seriously going to lose my hero? Yep, we're going to lose our hero here, but at least we got to T4. Definitely not worth losing my hero here. Way too much damage on this. OK, 
Okay, purple's not long for this world. T4 replacement on blue. Finally, he's getting armor. Not exactly happy about that, but what can I do? Need poison level 2. I am definitely bum-rushing fortifications after the amount of damage I just took. Like, no more. But I'm getting good amount of gold for some reason now, so... I'm kinda happy about that. This is gonna be a big wave for him to defend. But I have a feeling with these low upgrades, he's probably bum-rushing for Ember. Yeah, that's what I do in his position. Ugh. I need so much gold to be able to counter that. I need one more... Galio may keep him alive a little bit longer. Let's keep it going. Yeah, it's probably going to be an ember in my face right now. Research complete. Yep. Called it. I don't know what I did to deserve the early ember. But jeez. Like, I'm in trouble. Pixis, do you think I should go for smite here? What are your thoughts? This is also coming in again. Ugh. Like, hopefully Ember won't be that scary. Yeah, we have Invisora. Okay. Thank you for coming in after you take three quarters of my barracks. Screw off. I don't even think I'm going to be able to defend Ember, quite frankly. But I'm already kind of stretched too thin. I'm not going to get the smite in time. There is no way. Wait, I just need this thing to die. Thank you. Oh, good! Night Elf Endless March Middle. Ugh. What a game. Yep, this barracks is just gone. Pretty sure. Okay, that should buy me some time there from the Endless March. My arrows are doing a better job against Ember than I thought they would. Like, middle in trouble, but this is doing a lot better than I thought it would. Whew. And then we gotta come up with an answer for this down here. Yikes. It's a shame I probably... No, I did have to use the T2 there. We, yeah. But I also need to prepare for the undead. Get that.
Get that. The fact that we were able to defend Ember... Oh, God. Wait, how did Red lose his middle barracks? Was it Galio? Research complete. The scourge will devour all. Maybe a redirection gone wrong. I don't know. Like, that's what's kind of tripping me up. Like, that's great news for me because that means he can't ember me again. I think. That is really good news for me. I'm going to defend this with just units. Yeah, it was Galio. Thank God. Something went right. Thank you, computer. I knew there was a reason I didn't kill you. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm honestly going to go with emergency repair. I think it makes more sense since I have this right there. Than smite. Oh shit. Right. He has three heroes here. I think Valdrin's just dead here. Like, I just have to accept that. Because of Anubarak. Like, there are three freaking heroes here. Get that down. Thank you. I think this is going to be a powerful upgrade. We need to get T4 middle for sure. Valdron lives. Good. Galio did his job. Saved my butt. Saved my bacon this game. Like, I think I would have lost to Red straight up if it weren't for Galio. Is that a tiny? I should not have spoken so soon. Yeah, like he is truly being a goat right now, for sure. I don't even care, I'm not getting feed off this base. I'm just happy the pain from Ember. Now we just gotta be careful about middle. Praise the morning sun tilted, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing this morning? How's your day been treating you? Yes, the mana fountain is going to be key this game. This is dangerous. I'm hoping I can get um, the enlightened metal, especially since I'm really low on the barracks upgrade. Come on, 200 gold. I'm just like watching my units die so quickly. Come on. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm going to save, get ultimate weapon, get emergency repairs, and repair this barracks because it is a nuking range. And that would be absolutely horrible. Okay, that thing's dead. Yeah, it's good to be streaming again, man. Like, I miss streaming. Um, that's scary. I hope that goes to the Night Elf. Oh, good. We got Tiny down here. Um, 
What do I need for repairs? What am I missing? Oh, level four fortifications probably? Yep. Oh, thank God it is not going to me. Like, thank God. Down here, I should be fine, I think. Um. That's how it always goes with moves of Issei. I'm, but I am glad everything's working out smoothly now. I should have three heroes for down here, so we'll be good. Tiny is going to be a pain in my nuts. Research complete. All right. Start repairing that. Like, just absolutely repair that. Much better. Level 10 Tiny. What a joyous surprise that is coming my way. I am not happy at all. That's a lot of damage on that tiny. All right, we're going T4 everywhere after this. Next repair goes down here. Please, thank you. All right, so a lot is going right for me this game. Like, that's very weird. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for, for him as well. Why are you just trying to hit the barracks, Tiny? Don't do that. Goodbye, Tiny. Alright. Uh, looks like this should be pretty much it. Sorok's hiding in the shadows for sure, Avise. Like, you were not wrong. Honestly, if Galio didn't go through tearing through middle, I think I would have lost this game because of Ember. Does this even need a repair? No. Well. Yeah. That was very true. Alright, well, GG. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, that was truly a Sorok in the shadows. Uh, if you guys did enjoy that, consider leaving a like. If you'd like to see something very specific, please leave it in the comment down below. This was a random Sorok shadow game. Uh, for those of you in the stream, please stay tuned. For those of you tuned into YouTube, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.